Welcome back to Jay's Jeep and Classic Car Channel. Today we're going to be doing some electrical tests and cleaning up some wiring around the electrical system. Join me in the adventure. All right, so we're going to do some electrical test, just so you see. First thing we're going to test is a condenser. And uh, you turn it to ohms. And I've got an old one here that I'm not sure if it's bad or good. So we're going to test it. And so what you do is you connect one side to your lead here and another side. It's really hard to do uh, up in the air like this just to your uh, just to your body. Uh, it should be infinity or open loop which is what this is saying it is so perhaps it's still good So it was reading. There we go. So it's not infinity. So something shorted out on this thing. And uh, so this is bad. So I'm just connecting the two pieces together and that's what I'm getting. So this is most likely bad. Okay, for our next test, again, we have it on resistance and we're going to test the ignition coil. Maybe you can see it, maybe not, but I'm just touching the two terminals. There's my other wire. There it is. And I want it to read, I'm just going to put that up here. Is it one ohm or five, uh, four ohms? And it's reading 1.6 ohms. So that's good. We know it's good. We're going to test this other one. And it is reading open loop for infinity. All right, nope. Here we go. We got a reading. It's three, two point one ohms. So this should be good. Two point, one point eight ohms. So probably just a little bit of corrosion there. It's jumping like crazy. There it is. One point five ohms. One point, yeah, one point five ohms. One point four. Which so this one jumps around too, till we get a good connection on it. And it's at one point eight. So this coil should be good. 
we're going to test that by hooking it up and seeing if we get spark. Right, so we've changed out the ignition coil and let's see if we get spark. Oh yeah. Even though it jumped, it sparked right there. We're going to do it one more time. Hopefully without it moving. After that, we're going to change our plug wires back to the original plug wires. And uh, there we go. Hopefully that holds. Nope. It's just a awkward position where this particular coil wire is right now. It's because it's kind of back in there. All right, let's try it again. I didn't see any spark. Where did Joe sound in? What's that? That's the uh, coil. There we go. So it, it sparked right there. So that's good. Now we're going to replace some of the wires and see if we can't get that to work. All right. So we've swapped out the ignition wires and let's see if we get spark. Yeah, sir, we get spark. One last wire to swap out is from the ignition coil to the distributor. And if we get spark there, then we're good to go. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna just change we just changed the coil to distributor. Let's see if we get spark. We do. So we have removed all the clutter out of here for the most part. And that's a good thing. No bonus footage of it running with the with the new coil or original coil and original wires. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching y'all take care. It's time for supper.